Did you know that the Soviet Union had a secret space pioneer? In 1938, Stalin's goons tore through the Soviet Union, arresting anyone who didn't like him. Brilliant young engineer Valentin Glushko was thrown into a freezing prison cell. His crime, building rockets. Two decades later, he'd become one of the most powerful figures in the space race. While other kids played video games, Glushko designed some of the world's first liquid fuel rocket engines. By age 20, he was working on hypergolic propellants, which would power rockets for decades to come, but his success didn't last. In 1938, he was arrested for the crime of being a rocket scientist. After eight years in a Soviet prison, he and another famous Russian rocket scientist, Sergei Korolev, took control of the Soviet missile program. Unlike Korolev, who became the face of Soviet space achievements, Glushko worked in the shadows, developing rocket engines that would power their rockets. The two men became bitter rivals, constantly fighting over technical decisions. But Glushko's genius was undeniable. His Road 107 and Road 108 engines powered the R-7 rocket that launched the first satellite into orbit. And his later engines, including the Road 253 and RD-170, are still used in Russian rockets today. After Korolev's death, Glusko took charge of the Soviet human spaceflight program. But by then, the damage was done. The Soviet Union had lost the space race. Back in the Soviet Union, Glushko became a national hero. But in the West, his story remained unknown until now.